I can't escape, and you can't. Nobody can escape their past. And my past was just real violence. I mean, I was talking about killing. My family, meaning the Gambino family, and they were always criminals. They were always mob, mafia. It's the weapon of choice. My palette knife. I switched from a 45 to a palette knife. It's okay to blow somebody up in a car, but it's not all right to sing. It got to a point where I was so depressed over that, I joined the army. How many chances you got to actually go to war? Scariest thing ever was Hill A-75, period. After that, there was no fear. You know, when I decided to come back to New York, I had no intentions of coming back to New York and becoming a criminal. It's okay for me to kill Vietnamese for $278 a month, but it's not okay for me to kill people who are trying to kill me back here in the States where I can make some real money. Let me tell you something. He blew up a guy on Bad Avenue with a percussion grenade. Blew him right across the street. I was the overseer of a crew. Absolutely the most dangerous crew in the world. The type of killers that dismembered bodies and made them disappear. You know, they did hundreds and hundreds of murders. I mean, when I got arrested, when I came back, the first night, there was an attorney there. He says, we can get you out by tomorrow. I said, no, I'll stay right here. Because I knew as soon as I got out, I'd get popped. I mean, I was ready to go away and do my time. And you know, what a lot of people don't realize, like, you know, you, know, you, you might have killed people, but on the other hand, what they don't realize is that, you know, those people were looking to kill you too. <laughs> that was the business. That's the life we chose.